Hi everyone, if you are thinking of moving or relocating to Fairfield, Connecticut and you would like to know the pros and cons of living in this area, stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Jennifer Lockwood, your local realtor in Fairfield, Connecticut. If it's the first time to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified of any upcoming videos. I post videos regarding real estate in this area, plus about living, working, and playing here in Fairfield and some of the surrounding towns. And today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Fairfield, Connecticut. Of course, uh, for me, there's more pros than cons. I grew up here. Um, I was born and raised here in Fairfield and I just love everything about this town. But I will give you some cons at the end of the video um, because nothing's perfect. And I'm going to be totally honest with you as to some of the negatives about the town. But um, I'm going to start off with all the great, wonderful positives here. So let's start with pro number one, and that would be location, location, location. That's true with everything in real estate, honestly, but in Fairfield, location is prime. We are near the beaches of Long Island Sound, as we have three train stations running right to New York City. So we are only 50 miles outside of the city, and it's about an hour and 15 minute train ride, and we have three train stations to choose from, the Metro North, the Fairfield Center, and Southport. And I did a previous video on the train and train parking, so make sure you go check that out. Uh, we also have two major highways going through town, I-95 and the Merritt Parkway. We are also near a number of airports. So we are only an hour from Hartford, Bradley International Airport, and then we are an hour and 15 minutes from JFK in New York, an hour to LaGuardia. And if you're lucky enough to get a flight out of Westchester, it's only 35 minutes. So super convenient. Um, we also have great medical facilities. There's hospitals, a number of hospitals. There's two in Bridgeport, Norwalk, Milford, and then Yale New Haven. Um, there's a multitude to choose from, so that's a really nice benefit as well. Pro number two, housing options. We have a nice variety of housing options here. About 80% of them are single family homes, but they do range from 100,000 up to over two and a half million dollars. So quite a range to choose from. Um, but we do have uh, many options of single family homes and depending on what neighborhood you choose, the um, price points are a little bit different because if you are choosing something closer to the beach or to town or to commuting, that's where you're gonna um, find a little bit higher price point than on the outskirts of town. Um, and that does not include Greenfield Hill. That area is um, a little bit higher price point because it is the only area, area of town that is three acre zoning. So you're going to get a bigger piece of property for your value. We also have condos. There's a few condo complexes. So those who would prefer to live in a condo environment, uh, we have that opportunity here for you as well. And in recent years, probably the past five years, there have been a number of apartment complexes that have gone up. We have never really had that here before. Um, we would have rental opportunities in homes where um, owners decided to be landlords and they would rent out their homes or their condos. But now we have um, a number of apartment luxury buildings for people. There's a few of them right along the train, super convenient. So that's nice. And then we also have independent living retirement facilities and that's new to the area a number of them have gone up in the last few years so that's a nice option for um, for those over 65. pro number three the beaches it is absolutely my favorite part of fairfield uh, we have five beaches and they all vary they're all a little bit different and you can get your experience depending on what beach you want to go to as a fairfield resident you can buy a beach sticker so we have Southport Beach, which is a small beach, very quiet. They do have bathroom facilities, but there's no, no food shack there or anything. But if you want to read a book and be super quiet, that's a really nice location. Um, you park right along Harbor, Harbor Road um, for that beach. Then there's Pine Creek Beach, another nice, quiet, quaint beach. And then uh, Sasko Beach, that also is one of the quieter beaches but I have to say it is the best beach to see a sunset. The way the shoreline 
turns on Sasko. You can watch the sunset. Um, you can't really see that from any of the other beaches. We do have great sunrises as it comes over the water, but it does set behind us. But Sasko Beach is a great location for that. And then the two main beaches are Jennings Beach and uh, Penfield Beach. Jennings Beach is the largest of all the beaches. It is right next to Fairfield Marina. You can rent boat lockers there. You could have a kayak or, or sunfish boat. They have a pavilion there and there's food. There's also a playscape playground in the back of the parking lot for um, for those bringing children that would like to go do that as well. It does tend to be one of the more crowded beaches, but it is a beautiful big beach. And then the last beach, which is my favorite, is Penfield Beach. Um, I love it there. They have a sandbar at low tide and you can just plop your chair on the sandbar. It's nice and cool. And if you have kids, they love to go hunting for hermit crabs when the streams come in from the low tide. They also have a beautiful new pavilion that um, has they you can rent out for events, but also they have food there all day and uh, bathroom facilities and also a playground for kids and swing sets. So really fun. I um, This was my spot when I was uh, a teenager and still the, the one that I gravitate to. Also, you can walk down to Penfield Reef and you can see how the reef goes all the way out to the lighthouse. And in case you missed a previous video of mine, I did one on the history of the Penfield Reef Lighthouse. Really cool, something that I, um, I just absolutely adore. The fourth pro here in Fairfield is the dining. The dining options are enormous and they're so fun. Um, I just love all of the options that we have from fine dining, there's taverns, there's places that have been here forever. So many are doing outdoor seating now. Um, the experiences are great. I just love the energy of all the dining options that we have. Um, so definitely something that is a pro and you should check out. Number five is the amenities. If you are looking for a healthy lifestyle, this is the place for you. There are so many options. We have um, sidewalks. You see people running. Uh, we have um, conservation areas. There's so much hiking that's available here. You can even bring your pets with you on some of the hiking trails. Um, and then we also have two public golf courses. There's um, par three, which is a nine hole walking golf course. And then there's Smith Richardson, which is an 18 hole golf course. And also just being in Fairfield, we have all our surrounding towns and they have golf options. So you don't even have to go very far if you want to try a different variety. They're really all surrounding us. Um, in addition to that, we have a number of fitness centers. There's some large and smaller ones. You can find yoga, Pilates, specialties, a one-on-one -on -one training, lots of options in order to keep that healthy lifestyle. And last but not least, we have a great public school system. They are rated the top 10% here in Connecticut. And there are 11 elementary schools, three middle schools, and two high schools. If you would like more information on the ratings of those schools, just to compare, um, I always tell my clients to go to niche.com or greatschools.com, and you could even go to fairfieldschools.org in order to learn more information about each, um, each school and where they're located. Either way, you're not gonna go wrong here in Fairfield. Uh, people come here for the school system, but you can definitely check out more information on that. Okay, so now let me talk about the few cons about living in Fairfield. Number one will be cost of living. It is expensive to live here in Fairfield. Um, we are uh, one of the highest per capita income um, within Connecticut. So just to give you um, a guideline, in nationally, Connecticut's about 30% as a state above um, the national levels. We are number three uh, among states. And then within Connecticut, Fairfield County, is the highest per capita income and in, uh, in the whole state of Connecticut it is number 19. So just know coming here um, it will cost you more money depending on where you're coming from. If you're coming from New York City it's kind of an even trade. New York City is actually more expensive than here in Connecticut. You're used to state taxes and higher cost of living but if you're coming from the south you know it's it's going to be a little bit of a change. Um, I highly suggest going to bankrate.com. You can go to the cost of living section and if you put in your salary uh, and where you're moving from and moving to, it'll show you how much you need to make in order to maintain the current cost of living you have right now. Um, in Fairfield, the median home price is $625,000 and that's for a three bedroom home. Um, so just know that that's around, you know, the middle of the range here in Fairfield. Uh, you of course can get 
house is less expensive or a condo depending on what location. So like everything in life, there's a trade-off. So yes, there is high cost of living here in order to have the location um, that this provides you. The next con would be the number of people. So here, there are 62,000 people here in Fairfield around that number and it's 30 square miles. So, you know, it's a little bit crowded. Some areas are more crowded than others. Certainly not city living. Um, but it's not as um, spread out as some rural areas, so it is a relative number. But the number of people just really has to do with traffic too. Normally it's pretty good here in Fairfield, but just know that if you're uh, commuting to Stanford or to the city, you're going to hit traffic. Traffic is a big deal on I-95 and the Merritt Parkway. There's, you know, if you're traveling between 7 a.m. and uh, 9 a.m., to go in that direction, you will hit traffic. You will also hit traffic on your way home, starting around 3.30 or 4 until about 6 or 7, depending that there's no accidents, uh, additional accidents along the way. But just know that traffic um, is something you need to account for in the area. Um, I grew up here, so it has changed a lot since I was young. Um, there's been a lot of um, development here. Every piece of property is built on uh, because people want to live here. So, uh, so yeah, we have a little bit more population for the amount of space that we have. And then lastly, going hand in hand with cost of living is just to be aware that we have state tax here in Connecticut. Um, not all states do, but we do have state tax. So just account for that if you're thinking of moving or relocating to the area. So that'll do it for this video. There you have my pros and cons of living here in Fairfield, Connecticut. If you would like any information additional to this, I'm putting all of my contact info below. I am a realtor here in Fairfield and I love what I do. So I'd be happy to help you out if you're thinking of relocating or moving to the area. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.